So welcome back to part two of Candid with Cat. He just, he cheated on me. And this is how I found out. He cheated on me and this is how I found out. We're going to get right into it. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for choosing me over and over again. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, join the JK family. And if you're keen, also join the space, the membership space with JK. It's just below here. You'll see a join button below me right here, below my face right here. You'll see a join button and follow the prompts so that you can become one of the elite members of the JK space. So let's get into this particular video we're gonna continue um, <clears throat> i hacked his instagram account and went to the dms and found everything let me tell you something about instagram uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> instagram is dangerous mm, mm. in case you didn't know now you know instagram it's a dangerous that one because people do really really shady shit on their instagram if someone is very protective of you seeing their Instagram, just be like, ah, man, let me just how, let me go through, let me see who you're following, let me see whatever, and they're very protective, hmm? Do you understand? You must know. When you know, you must know. Yeah. She says she cheated on me with her baby daddy, so I took all her sneakers home. Ay, 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 A lesbian lady love it for you honey she cheated on me with her baby daddy so I took all her sneakers and sold them I don't care win is a win long story short mama Zala snitched and I left <laughs> <laughs> this is all I got fear studs uh, your yeah, studs are a little bit dangerous uh, studs are a little bit tricky studs I think I need to get a stud on here and one of my good friends, her name is Katleo. She's a stud. She's a stud. I think I should get her on here. And if you're interested in seeing a video with me and Katleo Ho, her name is Katleo Ho. Um, and we can talk about, we can do a Q&A on lesbianism and being a stud and whatever. If you're keen on seeing that, then definitely let me know and I can pull Katleo in and we can record together. And it should be so, so much fun. But studs, my darling. Stats, my darling. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was randomly holding his phone. And then a text came in with a message. I can still smell you on. Let me just go get another. I'm just. Okay. I can go I can go Okay. 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 That one needed me to pull up another one of these. Did you hear that? All right, let's 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 just let's just get into it. I was randomly holding his phone, and then a text message came in with a message that said, "I can still smell you on me." See, as you can see, the more you fuck around, the more you're gonna find out. I'm a daughter. Ay, 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 a message that came in I was working with him and we were working we had our laptops open so he had his on the side I had mine on this side and um, working on it whatever and and with MacBooks if a message comes in it comes in on the side of the laptop so it comes in on the side and this message came in and it was a DM from his Twitter account and he had left the table at the time and he had gotten a message a DM um uh on his twitter account that said he got a dm on his twitter account that said guess whose t-shirt i'm sleeping in tonight and i saw that <laughs> okay he had gone to the bathroom i saw it i didn't know what to do did i want to take that laptop and smash it to the ground yup fighting is all they do mm -hmm. look you see mm. uh. and show this one stars 
Did I want to smash his house in two? Did I want, I didn't know what to do. I was just so shocked. But the whole big thing that came to my mind is like, what t-shirt is this? <laughs> In. And then of course he came back and it became a, a huge fight after that which caused me to then leave at I think it was one in the morning I had to leave the house because I could not fathom myself having slept there and uh, Yeah, I just got a text that said guess his t-shirt. I'm sleeping. Well, I saw it on his laptop and I scooched over and I looked like this and I saw guess his t-shirt. I'm sleeping in tonight and I was like Guess who's the Popeye today? Hey, <laughs> you wishy wish. <laughs> the BS for me. Yes, yes. I found blonde hair strands. That time I was natural. He later said his sister was there over the week. Girl! I have heard the sister excuse too. Oh, I found this ring. I know it, it, it belongs to my sister. It probably belongs to my sister. Let me tell you, I also called at some point. I called and I remember, you know, God, you know, God, what's a mudimu, ne? That's our mudimu. God was on my side that day because I called. And when I called his phone, I think he accidentally answered it, like bum, bum answered it or something. And I could just hear. And the last time I spoke to him, he was like, oh no, I'm home. I'm thinking of sleeping. Um, I really, I'm not bothered. Like, I really just want to sleep. Tomorrow's Monday, whatever, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. So I call him later on at around past nine or was it to 10? I call him and when God answers the phone, cha. Okay, he answers the phone on my behalf, on his behalf. And I just hear girls in the background. Oh yeah, I hear guys and girls. And one of the girls is like clearly Model C vibes. Yeah, you know, my dad this, this, my dad that, that. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there listening. Hi, Tomasana. Hi, Tomasana. <laughs> Bleh! Bleh! What? Oh no, he motherfucking there. So because I didn't know where he was, I just hung up, and um, um, I I think I sent a text saying make sure those girls get home safely or something <laughs> because I'm petty as hell, okay? Because I'm petty as hell. So I made I said make sure. That them girlies get home safely because they sound like they're rather young chap. <laughs> I went through his phone, felt my heart leaving my body that day. Oh man, this is sad, man. Like when someone says it like this, it's so sad. I played the game as well. You know, you would think that if you find out that your partner is cheating on you and you decide that, you know what, well, He's doing it, I'm gonna do it too, whatever, it doesn't matter. You would think that it would fulfill you in some way. It's actually not fulfilling in any way. It doesn't matter, it, it's just, it just doesn't do anything for you apart from just fill the void and make it, um, it makes it heavier, you know? It just, it just makes you feel a lot more alone and a lot more lonely. Hey, but that felt my heart leaving my body that day, girl. Girl, sure. Hmm. We have all been there because I'm a daughter. We have all been there. We can laugh about it now because we're no longer in those scenarios. So his side girl didn't go home one night and her parents asked her to go back. She started staying with him and he took her in. Oh, I'm so tired. Yeah, I would, I'm so tired. I'm really tired. So the side chick didn't go home to the parents' house. The parents were like, oh, she did go home. And her parents were like, nah, what you doing here? I get a wena solemn home. Also, I get a wena solemn home, solo girlfriend. Go back. So she went back to him and then she took him in. And they ended up living together. What a wow. I just... 
<laughs> no, no. I don't even know what to say, bro. Like, this, this kind of stuff is so shocking. I don't even know what to say. A message popped up while I was playing Subway Surfer. I love that game. I do. I used to love it. I don't, I don't uh, play it much anymore, but I used to love Subway Surfer. A message popped up while I was playing Subway Surfer on his phone, and I acted like I didn't see anything. Ah, that could never be me, my darling. Okay, there is a lot of screenshots. All right. Um, funny story. Uh, let's see. Yeah, funny story. So first he got his ex pregnant and then I forgave him. Months after the baby was born, I was stalking her. Oh, Asana. Oh. Girl! Hi. Hi, Tomasana. Hi. Hi, Tomasana. Hi, Tomasana. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was stalking her and discovered her other Instagram account where she was posting about their journey as parents. And it's, hey! <laughs> ah. And it turns out I was playing the wife and she was the real Magoti and an entire mother of their baby girl. Do you understand now? It's because Zimbabwe listened. He sent me a video of himself talking on the phone with his boss to prove how busy. <laughs> I haven't read the full thing and I already know that this one's gonna be a mess. This one's gonna be a mess. He sent me a video of himself talking on the phone with his boss to prove how busy he is. Okay? It was during COVID and he was working from home. His boss was on speakerphone. He sent me the video on WhatsApp. Something told me to zoom in. And I believe my eyes. And that's when I saw. Yo, 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 yo. And that's when I saw white toenails. <laughs> and that's when I saw white toenails passing through, moving from the bedroom to the kitchen. He had a bachelor apartment and he told me it was the security. <laughs> he told me it was the security. <sighs> this is all I got. Hey, how much is a banana? Yo, 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 yo. I'm a daughter, must be bad. What is this one? What is this? What do you call this nonsense? He told me it was the security. Oh my god. Yo, I'm so sorry. On Friday, I took a flight to surprise him for his birthday as I and her sister planned something out for him. Little did I know, I'd find him with a pregnant girlfriend that evening. And I guess they were having a movie night. I just looked at them and it was like he was so starstruck. He knelt, I knelt quite and left to book myself into a hotel for the weekend because my flight was for Sunday, Mon Sunday. Monday, I called the sister and cancelled everything. I blocked the guy on my socials and on Monday, he in the wee hours was there knocking on my doorstep and I didn't open for him. Till this day, we haven't talked. That shit is crazy. I, 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 I really don't like that guy. This is very heartbreaking. You know when you don't even know what to say? Like you're so speechless, you don't even know what to say. Why Monday Why Why is he sorry? What what is he sorry about? What is he sorry about? Can he explain what he's sorry about, please, man? It's the time Facebook was still in fashion, for a lack of a better term. <laughs> so guy and I are dating Gumnandi and then he changes his Facebook status to in a relationship with me.
fine we date for about a year and a half next thing one morning i wake up to in a relationship with this girl he hasn't broken he hasn't broken up with me mind you he's blocked me on facebook before not knowing i was friends with him with another account hey but suddenly it's man that's the long and short the relationship kind of ended there i mean <sighs> i mean uh, i mean 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 <laughs> Why are we doing ghost accounts to follow our partners? Hmm? Why are we doing ghost accounts to follow our partners? Can someone maybe make make that make sense to me? Or um, explain that to me in a way in which I'll understand. Why are we doing ghost accounts to follow our partners? Why let us Why li li why are you doing these to yourselves? Hmm? Why are you doing this one? Mm-mm, baby, bolala. It is not worth it, my darling. It is not worth it. During lunch, my colleague and I were having a little chat about our lovers. Only to find out we share the same lover. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, hey, wonder about a man. That's the moment to call you volume la mo uti a present daughter. Is a hulaza. I ache days of our lives. I wanna ache you rich forester, Brooklyn Taylor. Well, if, if you know, you know. If you remember, you remember. Rich forester, Brook and Taylor. Yeah, I understand. I confronted him. Um, I confronted him about it, to which he gaslit me and was on some Maraliwena, why Ubutaba to Hurracho. So basically, and but why are you telling people that we're together though? Yeah. Isn't she supposed to tell people that you guys are together? What what is that? Yeah. What's going on there? What BS is that? Immediately blocked and deleted his numbers. Absolutely. Hi cat. Okay, we're gonna make this one the last one. Hi cat. Please make me anonymous. Please. Yo. I was smashing this uh the dude was smashing my friend before during and after our relationship i found out through his friend how did i found out i told him the reason i broke up with him is because i knew everything that was um going on with him and my then friend yo dude spoiled more beans i swear my jaw disappeared till this day i refuse to believe that they nissed me too nil because wow they did they clapped you the why what how? Oh, I say leave them for. Mm -hmm. Even two uh, two nil is small. Kor they vitiza they ravaza they traparized you. Kor hazamba one or squalo sapitefi. Kor they didn't they didn't your your friend didn't care at them. Your friend wanted to smash man and your man wanted to smash your friend and that's it, and that's it. This I I feel like that one is the most hurtful one personally if you ask me so i was dating this other guy who lived in the same area as my friend i'd share a lot with my friend to a point whereby she would know how our relationship was that time the relationship was low-key and on its way to the graveyard oh so sorry <laughs> so it happened that my friend posted a screenshot of a conversation him and her I was like, this is how my boyfriend types, but I brushed it off. A few days after, she posted another screenshot on her status, and it was him on the wallpaper. That time, I had an event to attend. I felt like ripping that ticket for the event apart. I couldn't even consume alcohol that night. Where are you guys finding your friends? <laughs> Where are you finding them? Hi. <laughs> Guys, my battery is about to die. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, thank you so, so much. Like, subscribe, and join the membership space. Also, click the notification bell to know each and every single time I upload. And thank you again for choosing me over and over again. And if you like this video, let me know what you liked about it. And just comment with a heart emoji if you got this far. Thank you so much for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, sayonara.